we're situated in the middle of the Oslo Fjord on the west coast of a small island called Jarlø. Uh, it's about 60 kilometers south of Oslo. And I found myself a nice little shelter from the wind. I thought I'd show you the surroundings. So I'm just gonna turn the camera. All right, the wind is coming in west by northwest and blows in this direction and here I will fly the kite over this little bay to find out what it looks like from up above yeah as you can see Pretty nice place, but I need some gear as well. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use today. First of all, I need a kite, and in this kite bag of mine, I have a few rokakus. I need a flying line. Got one here. Should be good. I need a cap rig. Here's my cap rig. And I've also made a, I think I think it's called a wind vane or a weather vane to stabilize the, the cap rig and uh, I'm gonna pick it up. Looking like this. And I'm going to attach this onto the cap rig to keep it stable. Of course, I will be needing my gloves. And this little box with all the GoPro gadgets inside. Yeah, and by the way, I even got myself this GoPro remote control so I'm gonna try to see if that works today was that all? nope one more thing these guys so I have something to attach the flying line to all right let's get the kite up into First thing I do is to attach this guy onto this one. And this won't come off. And now I'm ready to assemble my kite. It's over there. Okay. My kite is assembled. It's a Rokaku with tails for stability and uh, now I just have to put my gloves on and I'm ready to launch the kite. stable up there. I'm probably going to let out some more line to have it even more stable before I attach the cap ring. Now the kite is up there flying and safely secured here down on the ground. It's time to attach the cap ring and the camera to the line and do some kite aerial videography. If you can hear me now through the wind noise, you can see that the cap rig is attached to the flying line. The 
camera is not mounted yet, but it's to come. As you can see, I've now attached the camera to the cap rig and hopefully when I get this thing a little higher it's gonna get more stable. Well, let's try it. down into the water. Things were things worked out pretty much according to plan. I got it up there, got some good shots of the bay and uh, the remote control, it worked. And so did the app connected to the mobile phone so I could see what the camera was shooting. So now it's time to go back, do some editing, upload the video to the Arialis Kites YouTube channel. Thank you.